Okay, my friends, this is a guy named uh, Mr. Kesh, and they, they have the Kesh Foundation, Mr. Mehram Kesh. And, um, and they're doing some pretty interesting work. So, and a friend of mine um, is impressed with his work, so I looked into it. Now, uh, and, and I'm, I'm seeing that he understands that everything is made out of the tiniest particles there are, so you can literally make anything you, you can think of by combining these tiny particles, because that's all that makes everything. So if you can figure out a way to make these particles add together to make different metals and minerals, and, and they're talking about, you know, um, food and plants and uh, medicines, everything. Everything. Now, this is the guy, Mr. Cash here. Here he is. Now, now I'm going to play you this just for a minute here. So he's talking about 30, 40 years ago, he came to the conclusion. Microbes and bacteria are where there is a meat, where there is a, anti, uh, what do we call it, um, amino acid. All right. Amino acids are proteins, and they are found in meats. And all kinds of they, you know, they're parts of life. Now, here's what he's going to say, which I totally disagree with. Now, listen. Where there is essence of life, which is a combination of carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen. And as we don't have these in the space, the big totally wrong. The space is completely saturated with it. Biggest enemy for man in the space is packages of magnetic fields we call viruses, mm -hmm. and so. Over the past 30, 40 years, I've developed technologies which can handle the energies in the universe. Now, there is, I can guarantee you that there is a ton of biology and organic matter on Comet 67P, on all these places they're finding it. So I don't know where he's coming up with that, but it's totally incorrect. Okay, here's the deal right here. Amino acids were found as precursors, organic molecules, essential elements, phosphorus were spotted in a cloud of gas surrounding comic 67P. Amino acid glycine, along with some of its precursor organic molecules. So they found the building blocks of life were found on comet's atmosphere. I looked into this very carefully, and I did a video on it, and I'll show it to you, because that is literally a piece of a creature's body. Okay, my friends, we return to the days of yesterday year, European Space Agency. I followed this six years ago. Rosetta Comet contains ingredients for life, amino acids. There's Comet 67P. Looks, look, let's look deeper. All right, now this is where it gets crazy. This is Comet 67P. Comet Jerry Yankov, Gary Amasio, something like that. I forget what it is now. But they sent out a, a lander that actually landed on this comet. And these are the pictures it took. And it actually sampled a couple of samples. Now, I have friends in extremely high places. And I have the spectral analysis. And I have all the information that relates to that. And this is a bundle of muscle. That is the muscle fibers. These are the tendon enthesis. Now, the tendon enthesis and the muscle fibers work together off of the... Achilles tendon, which I believe is what this is. It's a, it's, a, it's a tendon anchor of some sort, and these are the muscles and the tendon enthesis that comes out. All right, get an anatomist knows what they're doing, because this is that tendon enthesis, and these are those little straps coming out, and then there is a piece of muscle. You see what this says? Muscle. The muscle comes down. The tendon itself is here. The tendon enthesis is where it goes into this ball. Those balls all over make pockets all over the surface. All right, in the anatomical model you saw that ball and there was all kinds of little round balls all over and then there was all the straps coming off and then there was muscle attached here and there. Well, there it is right there. Now, I have the exact same situation here. This is common 67P, and that puppy is not small. And any, any anatomist can tell you, yes, that's 
it looks like it. They can't say is it what it is. I had my anatomist look at it, Gill, and he said, well, that's what it looks like. Now, this and, and the chemistry is exactly what it is. It's ferrous oxides, blood is iron. Ferrous is iron. And it's, um, I mean, it is what it is. And it's all organic and they can explain it. And it, space smells like steak. So, and when they shoot out these rays, they shoot them out of the blood vessels. I'll show you. You see that? Remember I showed you that ball and it ran up all those little spikes? Well, they're all fed by blood vessels. You see this? Not, they're not every, every one of them, but a lot of them. That's why it's shooting out this way, out this way, and this way. That's wherever the blood is feeding the tissue. And blood feeds everything. That's why there's a bazillion of them. They're not just blowing off their dust. That is literally cooked gases of just like on your gas grill except there's not enough oxygen out there to make it combust into flame it just vaporizes it all right so mr. Cash um, I'm sorry my friend but there is plenty of evidence for organic molecules which are amino acids in space and they there's no way for them to explain these things so they just stop talking about them you see that? These are the comet spikes that go right in and anchored that thing into whatever it was in in the beginning. I can't explain this. It's just what it is. And this was, <sighs> was some kind of a tendon emphasis. All right, I know we saw this. And that lander landed somewhere in here. I'm not exactly where, but it, 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 it picked up exactly the signature for life. Apparently, this is what that comet 67P would look like if it was laying on top of Raleigh, North Carolina. <laughs> now, apparently, this had some bone coming out of it. That's the anchor, and then, of course, we saw all the rest of the stuff. Now, these are the size of the vascular networks, 40 meters across. That's 120 feet, this one. So 120, 120, like 360 feet across, something like that. These little things here, they call them dragon balls. Those are blood vessels. Well, they're little blood balls that are leaching out of, this is an artery. And that is going to burn off, and they're cooked in the sun. And that's why there's a, that red dust all over, because that is the ferrous oxide. It's the blood, it's the flesh that's deteriorated. And it'll cook off in the sun, absolutely. And the moisture will go away from it and all that, and it will become dusty and and um, like Mars is the red planet. It's, and that's the same thing. It's biology. I am sorry, my friends. We are in a new world right now. And if you just can't accept it, I don't know what to say to you. Well, let me put it this way. If you can't even look at this and respond to this and say, all right, let's take a look at it, Roger. Show me your evidence. If you can't do that, then I have no respect for your ability to, 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 to think, really. I, you know, it's, um, it's very important to look at this and not just dismiss it. The crazy thing is that everything in space is like that. That's 67P. Then you get to Iapetus. It has this equatorial ridge, but it's got all these same little pock marks. The same thing with Mimas. These are moons. That's the. I mean, that right there, my friend. I'm just telling you what it is. I'm sorry. We got to look deeper.